Okay, the descent continues. What did that dark voice instruct me to do? Under the pistons, into the tunnels, and onto the bilge pumps. And if the door should be locked, I will have to find another means of descent. I cannot trust him, but my path is set. I shall ignore those noises. That snuffling, those snuffling step, shuffling steps below me. I will bray whatever lurks beneath, and I will save them. Ba 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 ba. Ba ba. Into the tunnels. Holy shit, this is dark and cramped. Hmm. Compound X storage. Danger, no naked flames. Yeah, see, so now I assume we're in the, those tunnels here in the middle. That's my guess, at least. Oh, fancy that. April the thir 30th, 13th, no, th 30th, 1899. Uh, theory, oh, the crate arrived this morning and I had it delivered directly to the workshop. The body is remarkably preserved, although there is a sub subtle yet nauseating stench of a damp and rot. It is humanoid in shape, but has suffered severe skeletal deform deformity. Remnants of leather straps encase the torso, which is deformed, with evidence of substantial muscle mass and displacement. It is difficult to, assert to ascertain whether this unfortunate is the recipi recipient of some barbarous surgery. Who was born deformed and an attempt to force his null body into some semblance of humanity was made. What he is what he is I cannot tell, but I smell the orb upon him and suspect my great uncle's presence in his curious condition. So it can be done. We can reshape the body into a tool, accelerate the processes of Mr. Darwin's evolution. But here my great uncle and I part company. He chose men as subjects of his experiments, but men are difficult to control and rotten with sen sentimentality. No, we require a new creature for our shadows. Loyal, clever, strong, easily sated. And if you wonder why I got surprised over that one, the orb is actually because that is if you haven't played the first Amnesia, that's one thing that actually is covered in that story a little bit. So... Hmm. And I wonder... My great uncle's presence is... But here my great uncle and I part company. He chose men as the subjects of his experiments. I wonder if that is... Oh, now I can't remember his name, but... The man that owns the castle of. Uh, uh, see, now I forgot the name of the castle that I mentioned in the one of the earlier episodes. But God damn it, what? the guy who owns the castle that you're in in Amnesia One, at least. I wonder if that's his great uncle, because he used real men as. To his experiments. God damn it! I just remember the main character's name, Daniel, and the other character, Agrippa, later on in the game. But God, I can't remember his name. Hmm. <sighs> This looks like a dead end, yep.
no sane man would be walking down here. Okay, so a door over there. Hey, fancy that. Danger. Highly corrosive, highly flammable. Hmm. I'm just gonna check these and see. Perhaps I can get in there and take that elevator further down. go in the nest of eggs through penny sixpence sparrows and doves see all the angels are weeping above there is no more forgiving there's no one to say for today darling lily goes into her grave See, I don't know if that light is playing because it's broken or... God damn it. Sabotage! Bruised and battered, but alive. I have survived the saboteur's best efforts. He and I are now locked in an epic struggle. But I am driven to find my family, and I will prevail. Ignore the madness about me. Do not consider what cruel and unspeakable acts have been committed here. Find a way to the bilge, bilge, bilge. Drain the flood. Free your children. Ba -ba -ba. Here we go. Hello there. Quickly, Mantis. Find the entrance nearby. The children weep in the darkness, and the flood waters continue to rise. This looked... even newer. This doesn't look pleasant at all. Oh, here we go. July 15th, 1899. In order to facilitate assimilation of tissue groups, a compound is required, or the cells will not, or the cells will not bond. Disposal of non-bonded subjects must be immediate and immediate and using incineration, or we risk continuous animation without form. This is unpleasant. A simple compound of one part Brent. There we go, Brennenberg, that's the castle. Brennenberg infusion vitae to no to one part organ monad dispersal fluid is sufficient. This can then be administered intraven intravenously yeah. all these words intravenously to subjects following reassembly to maintain bonding. The compound is unstable and highly light reactive. Once in the body the, the Schumann lamp can be used to activate the compound, but outside the body, 
is highly corrosive. It can even destroy small quantities of metal. Hello. So what? A simple compound of one part. Okay, so Brandenburg infusion vitae and one part organ monodisperal fluid. This can be then be administered into a situ subject for the reassembly to maintain bonding to come. Okay, so I need to find two fluids, it seems. The Brandenburg infusion vitae and the organ monodisperal fluid. Mix those. Mix those together and then I can open a lock. Don't know what lock though. How would I do this? There, comfortable. that it's supposed to be a prop okay 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 enough with it ah there's the lock maintenance f access there's clearly another passage beyond the locked gates it seems I have no choice of approach the padlock is old but firm and after that fall I cannot summon the strength to break it open perhaps I can find another way So we need to go down here and find some fluids. Oh, is that the device I might be using to mix it? I think I've seen this in the trailer. see what he says. The centrifuge. It's some form of bizarre mixing device for chemical compounds, and it positively reeks of the foul fluids I have seen too often before. It is clearly a compound, some volatile bastard of two composite ingredients. I should wager I would find them close by. Yep. So I can hide beneath there, perhaps, if anything happens. So wait. These are tubes that transport the fluids. But there are three fluids. So not two, then. But there are two ways to go. Holding pans... Low temperature storage. Oh, I don't like the sound of any of them. Um, fine, let's go with the low temperature first. Script sequences aren't as scary as when the enemy just appears and starts patrolling, because then you know you're in danger of actually dying. But okay, so that's the one I use to transport. A warning. Okay, no capital level. Uh, inflamed it is, burning it does, bleeding from each hole, fore and aft, leaking down my legs, blood and ex excrement. My lungs are in my vomit. Ugh. 
I pass clots of my organs now onto the filthy, filthy stone. Drink this, he says. And I did drink it. I did... I did do that because of the changes. They ripple in a me. My teeth sneeze out and scatter like mice in the dark. I cannot find them at all. Gathered what I can, push them back into my grey gums with my fingers, but the nails are all weepy and falling out. Drink it, he says. It'll help the running and the fever, because not, a, not us all can take the change. On the other table, a beast under a blanket. I never wanted to see under that, but he drank it too. He passed it under the blanket, and I heard it drink. Dear God Almighty, how can a man shit so much blood and still live? So, the people are actually... They can actually still think and see what's happening to them when they're changed into that abomination. You. And whoop. Run! Okay, that was mean. That was really mean. unpleasant. So wait, what? I came out there? I didn't even see that door last time. So that would mean, yep, at one of the compounds. Whoop. It fell onto his hands and they eroded in front of me. The stumps to stumps. Next time we will use an equal mix of infusion vitae and orgone disperser. No, no, just take him out. You can dump him in the river for all I care. Mm. But I, ass I assume they realized that they couldn't just dump and they had to incinerate them. Come on. I do not enjoy this.
actually. Slowly but surely we're progressing. No need to hurry. August 20th, 1899. Took delivery of another batch of imbeciles today. The other sorry specimen of humanity I have ever seen. No one asked where the go to. The authorities of Bedlam are simply happy to reduce the overcrowding of their teeming stinking halls. We measure their skulls, check their teeth, we give them laudanum to pacify them. They wait in line, livestock, dull brown eyes and filthy skin. Many soil themselves as they wait. Into the manipulator they file in silence. I hear the hissing of gas, I hear the dull groaning as teeth are removed and bones are reset. I hear the pigs screaming. We have removed all the mirrors. After the process, it is the reflections that trouble them the most. Afterwards, when they sleep, I walk amongst them, my children. I whisper to their dreams, you are my children now. I have children once again. And your forms imperfect will be the engines to make my own blood flow again. What? I have children once again, meaning I assume this is Mendes, my character, actually writing this, and so he knows he'd lost his children, so they are dead, but I'm still hunting them, so he's mad. And your form's imperfect will be the engines to make my own blood flow again. No idea what that's supposed to mean. I guess we'll see. 